Zulu Natal has been turned into a political killing field. 19 councillors have been assassinated since September last year. The ANC's Mapunum Kize of Msunduzi municipality is the latest victim. ENCA's Pamandla Goge has delved into the scourge. In fact, he found Umkungundlovu, Eteguini and Zululand are the leading hotspots. Let's look at his report. <laughs> We will not allow EKZN to be the killing field of South Africa. This was President Cyril Ramaphosa in 2018. He just visited the family of slain ANC member and former councillor Musawenko Simakatam Kunu in Peter Maritzbeck. Despite the president's tough talk, the killing of councillors continues in Guazulu Natal. And the statistics are devastating. Since the beginning of the current term uh, of local government, we've seen 19 councillors being killed. Um, and, and that is really something um, that demonstrates um, that the levels of crime are very high. Kwanongoma is a small rural town in northern Wazulu Natal, known as Ihlalankosi, the seat of Amazulu King. On the surface, Kwanongoma looks calm, but in reality, terror and intimidation reign supreme here. In the space of just weeks, two councillors have been attacked. National Freedom Party councillor Anton Bentley Mkunu was gunned down while sleeping at her home. A few weeks later, her colleague Mpatiseni Mangele, also from the NFP, was attacked while dropping off his wife, who works at a local hospital. At the time of compiling this news report, Mangele was fighting for his life in hospital. One of his bodyguards was also injured. Nontlantla Zungu is a Ward 14 NFP councillor in Nongoma local municipality. There have been several attempts on her life. Members of her family have been kidnapped and tortured by would-be assassins looking for her. She believes the attacks on councillors are politically motivated and it's a numbers game. Despite having protectors, she says her life has become a living hell. Councillor Zungu says she continues to receive death threats and according to her, one of those was just on the eve of our interview with her. There are growing calls for all councillors in the municipality to be provided with security as the situation in the area is volatile.
imkhandlu nemali encane kakhulu ukuthi singayisebenzisa ukufaka kwe security so sesikhulumile engejile sezoba nomhlangano njengoba si blocked na ethini UEFF no ANC ne NFP ukuthi na naba bazame njenge leadership ka ANC u provide amagadi kuma members awe ANC kanjalo EFF including nawe IFP siyafisa futhi nawe kube khona ukuthi nawe avikeleka the attacks on councillors has forced the municipality to suspend physical sittings of council meetings. They are not feeling safe to be here, so we cannot uh, compromise their lives because if one of them can be killed while uh, he or she was coming from a council meeting, uh, we, can, we can maybe sometimes we can be uh, accountable for that because we have seen that the, the situation is not uh, conducive for our councillors, so that is why we decided to to hold our meetings by Zoom. The tense and unsafe environment for councillors has also affected service delivery negatively. They can't even uh, go to the wards where they are deployed because they are, they, are fearing, they are fearing for their lives, so it is hard for the municipality to function. The killing of councillors is not a new thing in Guazulu Natal. Mwerane Commission of Inquiry found that the killing of councillors in the province is related to multiple factors. These include, but are not limited to intra-party politics, jostling for positions, in some instances for business and tender influence, or just pure criminality. There isn't much evidence to suggest that its recommendations are being implemented with speed. The South African Local Government Association in Guazulu Natal says the crisis is beyond political killings. It says the bigger challenge is violent crime in general across the province. This is more viral and it's not only, the province of Guazulu Natal is not only unsafe to the councillors, but to the community at large. And the uh, uh, suggestions we're making. Uh, solutions, uh, SACA in the province of Guazulu Natal, we believe that even uh, the community uh, members themselves, uh, they will live in a safer uh, province if this should be uh, considered immediately. But what are the proposed solutions? We are calling for uh, the law enforcers uh, to find some uh, sense of agency and ensure that arrest are made like the issue of uh, the, the turnaround time to say within such a period uh, we need to have the assassins being arrested. And number two, the collaboration uh, between uh, the is important stakeholders in the, in the province of Wazun Natal and even the community. Uh, so that uh, we, we all fight against this kind of crime which puts the lives of the councillors uh, unsafe. The police's task team investigating political killings in the province has been hard at work for years. There were complaints about the slow pace of investigations and arrests. But the Interministerial Committee on Political Killings in Guazulu Natal says it's happy with the work of the task team. Despite ENCA's repeated request for an interview with the police on the work of the task team for almost a week, none of the police's top brass were available for the interview. However, Police Minister Peggy Tele, through a statement from his office, says he's happy with the work of the task team as it has recorded over 300 arrests so far. He says the team boasts a strong conviction rate but didn't specify how strong and what percentage. According to the IMC's profile, three political parties are heavily affected by the killing of their councillors. The IFP, ANC and NFP mainly. If the judicial system and the procession becomes weak in terms of preparing their cases and all that, I think all those bottlenecks need to be tightened uh, so that everybody knows that uh, the issue of crime is becoming a problem for our country, for the economy and all that. Because what people they don't understand that once a, an area is seen as a crime-prone area, of course investors will run away. Umkungundlovu and the Tegwini districts are considered among the hotspots too. Zakel Endlovu is the University of Guazulu Natal based political analyst. He believes arrest, prosecution and successful conviction of those alleged to be involved in the political killings 
could serve as a deterrent. Uh, it's not being alarmist to say that we could expect to see more killings, especially because, like I said, the people who are committing these uh, assassinations, these political murders, as long as they are getting away with uh, committing these heinous crimes, they will never end. But as the sun sets, no one is safe in the kingdom. It's only a matter of time before another life is violently taken through the barrel of the gun. Sipamandla Koke, Kwanongoma, KwaZulu Natal.